Greetings, greetings. Welcome to another episode of the Weekly Awakening. My name is Taraku Day with Awaken Within, and today we're going to dive deeper into incubator dreams. As we've previously discussed with dreams, your dreams are messages to you about how you are using your mind. And this is because it's reflecting back to you your the state of your consciousness. Now, your subconscious mind is fully aware and conscious of everything that your conscious mind is aware of, but also everything that you're unconscious of. A lot of people mistake the subconscious for the unconscious. They replace those words and interchange them um, as if they're the same thing or equal. And that is primarily because most people are unconscious of their subconscious. But that's not necessarily true because your unconscious is just like unawareness, what you're unaware of. The power of the subconscious mind is intuition. It's the intuitive part of your mind. And intuition is your direct grasp of truth. Anything that you experience or receive or hear that just resonates and rings true with you, that feeling is coming from your subconscious mind. That's a subconscious sense coming through, bringing the truth. The times when you just have this innate wisdom or these innate understandings or abilities, that is you accessing and bringing through the subconscious understandings that you, the permanent understandings that you store within your subconscious mind, within the heart center that is coming out into fruition, out into this physical reality. So your subconscious mind, there's a relationship there like we've been talking about between the conscious and subconscious mind. And with that relationship, your subconscious mind always has your best interests in mind. You know, if you follow your intuition, you will never be steered wrong. The only thing is, is that you have to be able to identify what is intuition and what is not. <laughs> you know? So when you're able to do that, then you're able to follow your intuition and always be guided in the right direction because your subconscious mind has your best interest in mind. You know, that's the mind that your soul uses. So your soul has nothing but your best interest in mind. Therefore, these messages that are coming to you through your dreams are precise and exact. Even though they may seem wild and weird, this is because they are the precise images that are needed and are necessary in order to deliver an exact and precise message to you about how you have been using your mind in order to improve on in some ways or in order to continue to replicate things that you're doing correctly in other ways. And so by paying attention to this message, we're receiving from the subconscious mind the direction from our inner teacher on how to go or continue to go in life, in this path of life that we're on, in this journey that we're on. Now, an incubator dream is making a request of your subconscious mind, being specific on the message that you're wanting to receive. This could be that maybe you have a difficult decision and you're wanting the subconscious mind to weigh in on the benefits or detriments of these choices that you have before you. You know, maybe you got offered a new job across the country and that's a big life changing uh, um, event. So maybe you want to ask your subconscious mind to give you a message in your dreams of how you may benefit from either choice and what obstacles may arise through either choice of staying where you're at or moving and, and on and progressing and, and moving across the country. Or maybe you've lost something. Maybe you can't find your keys or maybe you can't find um, your ID. You know, I had, a, I had a friend once who he shared with me at a time when he incubated a dream where he lost his ID. And so he, he did the techniques I'm gonna share with you in a moment of uh, incubating the dream. And then that night he went to sleep and his awareness came from the sky and it zoomed down to his city, down to where he lived, down to his car, to the inside of his car, down to the console beside the driver's seat, down to the crack in between the console to where then he was able to see his ID. There was his ID. So then when he awoke, he remembered the dream because he incubated it. He wanted to answer. He got his answer. He got up, he went out to his car, checked between the console. Boom, there it was. And so, you know, anything that you're wanting a message directly and specifically for, you can incubate a dream to request that. You can incubate a dream for a visitation dream. As we talked about visitation dreams before, you can incubate a visitation dream. You know, if someone, if a loved one has passed on and you're just desiring to have them come to you, you can have that happen. Uh, I had someone reach out to me a few days ago or a week ago 
and they were just having a hard time with um, the, a loved one that had passed away that was like their mother and they had passed away about a, almost a year ago now and they were just having a really difficult time uh, with it because you know the, the relationship wasn't the best at the time of the passing and it was just a lot of hurt and pain and grief you know through this grieving process that they're still going through and so i just suggested them to incubate a visitation dream and told them the steps that i'm, I'm going to share with you here in a moment and then the next day she reached out and let me know that it was a success they had this amazing experience because their loved one had come back to them in the dream the night before and it was a very healing experience and um and it was truly a visitation dream you know it had all the aspects of a visitation dream and if you want to know more about those check out the video on visitation dreams now before i get into the steps of incubating a dream i just want to convey to you the importance of these steps what you are wanting to do essentially is you're wanting to clear out the thoughts within your conscious mind because all of your the thoughts that you have racing trying to search for a solution need to be cleared out because as we've said before the conscious and subconscious minds are two halves to a whole and just like just like humans to have a whole to have a whole picture of human you have to have the male and the female you can't just point to a man or a male and say that is what a human is it's incomplete that image is incomplete or same with a female you can't point to a female and say that is what a human is that is incomplete and so that you have the aggressive and the receptive and when they come together they can create and that's how the conscious and subconscious minds also work the conscious mind is aggressive your, your conscious waking mind those thoughts are aggressive they're coming in thinking whether you're wanting them to or not whereas the subconscious mind is more receptive and so those thoughts are very subtle because it's like a woman it's feminine it's subtle it has a subtle sensual energy to it and it's just there to receive to receive once it receives your attention then it will provide you with communication and so the subconscious mind when you're wanting an answer you have to be able to remove those conscious thoughts and create space within the conscious mind now this normally does happen through dreaming because you're putting your conscious mind to rest your co consciousness is shifting from the physical body and the it uses the conscious mind into the astral body soul that's using the subconscious mind and so it creates that space naturally now in order to receive this incubated dream you're wanting to create this space so that you can receive the specific message that you're wanting it's just like how dmitry mendeleev was the scientist who uh through dreams was able to come up with the entire periodic chart and he had well not just about the entire one he i mean there's been more added to it since then and also when he awoke he wrote it all out and realized there needed to be one correction the man who had the lock stitch needle who invented that it came to him in a dream and the reason that these came to a, to them in a dream is because they had this was their life's work they had spent countless and numerous hours searching researching experimenting developing different solutions for this problem that was formulating and ruminating within their mind and they had gotten to such a point that they had exhausted every single conscious thought that they possibly could and then through doing that and exhausting every conscious thought they have then created space the conscious mind was then still because it was completely empty and with that emptiness it was able to receive the answer from the subconscious mind because the subconscious mind is the direct grasp of truth and so it was able to provide that answer to them so that's what you're wanting to do with an incubated dream and so now how do you do that you know do you have to spend years you know thinking about the answer like these those two gentlemen did no absolutely not what you will want to do is spend five to ten minutes it may take 20 minutes it may take 30 minutes it may take an hour however long it needs to take you know the bigger the the perceived problem or situation um and the bigger answer you're wanting then it may take more time and so what you're wanting going to want to do don't worry about how long it takes but just before right just before you go to bed get out a piece of paper and a pen and you want to do a stream of consciousness writing just write and write and write you know formulate your question at the top and then answer it you know if it's um you know what should i do about moving to san francisco you know, or what, what should i do about moving to the west coast and then answer that question and just riddle off every single thought you can possibly think of and just keep on writing don't stop 
Don't stop until you have absolutely no thoughts left. Even if you get to a point where you kind of feel that there's more thoughts there, but you don't know what to say next, just write that out. Like, I feel that there's more thoughts here. I don't really know what to say next. You know, I, maybe you repeat yourself. Like, I feel like it would be a good thing. Also, you know, because then something else is fine that you're, you're kind of unraveling and untangling this thread from this quilt. And once you have the entire quilt completely uh, unthreaded, then you have created space for something new to be replaced. And what you wanna do is just continue to write and write and write until you're all completely done, have all of the thoughts that you can think of, and the pen stops. Then put down the pen, put down, put down the pen inside of the notepad, ideally, and fold it over. That way you can have and set it next to your bed. That way you can have it ready for when you wake up to write down your dream. You know, and if you want more instruction, on what to do on how to record dreams, you know, check out the first video I ever made on uh, dreams, what do they mean or what do my dreams mean? And there will be more instruction on there on how to record your dreams. But for this purpose, it is very simple. You just do, do, do those steps, set it down, and you wanna do this just before you're gonna go to sleep. Cause you wanna write out all of that, set it down, lay down and put your mind to rest and then go to sleep, experience your dream and then wake back up and write down the dream that you had. And ideally, you will have your answer. Now, I do understand that many of you still don't know how to interpret dreams, and that's fine. A lot of times you'll have an intuitive sense of what that dream means, because really you, the dreamer, are the only one that can truly interpret it. I just understand the symbols and are able to impart to you what those symbols mean. It's like, it's like I say all the time, you know, it's like getting a letter from a loved one that's written in Chinese. I just know how to read in Chinese. I don't understand all of the nuances and jokes and everything within that letter because I don't understand your life and your relationship with yourself. You know, just like I wouldn't understand the jokes and nuances of the letter because I don't under, I don't understand the nuances of the relationship that you have with that person. So you may not know what that dream is meaning, but you may have an intuitive sense. And even if you don't have an intuitive sense, that's okay because like like what I'm doing here is amassing a more a greater and greater bank library bank of symbols a video dream dictionary essentially and even if all those symbols aren't there you can still feel free to reach out to me send me a message leave a comment um on here send me a, send me an email selfawareness3 at gmail.com in in whatever way you can reach out and contact me and i i always strive to make sure that i interpret uh, anyone's dream that they uh, send to me and send my way just because I understand how important dreams are and I can highly relate to searching everywhere, far and wide, reading all types of books and nothing ever connecting. And then actually finally finding someone that did understand what dreams meant and being able to have that resource to find the answer to every single dream I had. And those people made themselves 100% available to me at all times. And so as a way to give thanks to them, I try to do the same to other, for other people. So even if you're incubating a dream, you don't have, and you don't understand what the message was, what the answer was, feel free to reach out. You know, even if maybe, maybe the next morning you didn't really get your answer, that's probably because you didn't expel fully all of the thoughts within the conscious mind. So just do it again. The next night, do it again. Rewrite the same stuff you already wrote. Write new stuff. You know, just go deeper. Unearth even more and just really expel everything you can possibly think of. Write about what you think about it, write about how it makes you feel, write about all of the different possibilities, write about all of the benefits, all of the detriments, write about every single thing you can possibly think of, write about how it may affect you, how it may affect your friends, how it may affect your family, how it may affect your children, how it may affect your parents. You know, just write every single thing you can think about. and. You know, write about how it may affect you five years from now, 10 years from now, you know, write about what things occurred in your life that have led you to this point that you're wanting to find this answer. Write about anything and everything in order to make sure that you have fully expelled all of those thoughts and can receive that message. So this is an incubated dream, what an incubated dream is, the purpose of an incubated dream and the steps to do that. And I hope this video helps you. And if not, that's okay. You know, if, if so, feel free to leave a comment, like, share, whatever you like. You know, if someone else that you know is going through something and they work with their dreams kind of, let them know about this, about incubating dreams. Maybe they aren't aware of it, or maybe they this will have a, a little bit more to provide for them. So as always, I appreciate, love every one of you, and I leave you in peace.